Hey, Dripping Springs, it's Ashley Tellis with another episode of Here's the Drip. Today is uh, season two, episode 10, and we're talking with Heather Doust, owner and operator of the blog, Dripping with Kids. Hi, Heather. Hey, how are you, Ashley? I am great. Thanks for jumping on with me. Um, so you're a blogger, is that correct? Yes. All yes, right. that is correct. And what do you talk about? Uh, well, on my Dripping with Kids blog, I talk about all the fun things to do with your families in the Dripping Springs area, which includes kind of the rest of the hill country, so surrounding towns, some of Austin, um, a lot of outdoor spots to go and explore, especially. So I have a sneaking suspicion that means you're a mom. Is that true? Yeah, I happen <laughs> to have four kiddos. Um, what ages are your so kids? Great. <laughs> they range from 13 to three. So I have an eighth grader, a fifth grader, and then two in preschool part-time. So um, sometimes it's a struggle to find things to do that all four of them are interested in. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, so I've lived um, here in Dripping for um, going on five years now. Um, so I'm, I can't claim to be old Drip. Um, can't claim to be new drip either. I'm kind of in that in-between phase. And um, as most people know, I have a son and I've had a hard time finding a resource to find things to do that are different from the park that I see with my own eyes. How do you go about finding hidden gems? Um, I think I'm a bit of a researcher. I've recently discovered that about myself. So um, I tend to go down rabbit holes on the internet or just chatting with people and um, anything that sounds the least bit interesting, we are willing to check it out and explore. So um, nothing is off limits. Well, if it's dangerous, it's off limits. But otherwise, most places are, are worth exploring. And so we just get out there and try it. And are the excursions that you guys take, um, are they expensive or cost effective? Uh, no, I... Uh, I'm a self-declared uh, frugal mom, so we try to find as many things um, free or cheap as possible, hence why many of them are outdoors. Well, thank goodness we're in Texas where, you know, the weather's pretty darn nice. 10 months of the this time. year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> we're pretty fortunate for that. Um, so what is... Uh, the, what is your website, the blog address, the web address? That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> it's drippingwithkidsblog.com. So dripping with kids can sound a little funny as a name, but since so many of our neighbors lovingly refer to our town as just dripping or drip, I figured uh, we might be able to figure out that that means dripping springs. I feel like an outsider might think that you have like a million children. <laughs> It feels that way. Yeah. <laughs> I would imagine four can feel like a million sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> Just my three-year-old can feel like a, a million many days. Mm -hmm. As they do. Um, what <laughs> inspired you to start this blog? I was thinking about that because I figured you might ask. And um, it just came down to me posting things that I was doing with the kids and friends asking me, oh, where did you go? Oh, give me some tips. Or um, even my friends from out of town saying, we're going to come visit the Hill Country. Can you suggest some places just because of what I had been putting um, out there or what I had chatted with friends about? So I figured, why not share? And I love to write. I like to just take everything out of my brain and put it on paper or, you know, put it in the blog. And so I just kind of combined that interest and that passion with um, what people are asking about. So you get the question of what should I do in drip a lot then? Is that right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Or, you know, sometimes Wimberley or Lake Travis, just in the area. And uh, when someone asks that question, what are kind of the top three that you almost always give right back to them to go check out? Um, I'm big on the state parks. So we love Pedernales Falls and we love McKinney Falls. And um, this summer we explored Blanco State Park. That was really cool. Swing with some snakes. And, um, and this weekend we're going to go to Guadalupe, Guadalupe River State Park. So I mean, I know those have a, a minor cost to them, but they're just so worth exploring. Um, and then I also really just love 
the local playgrounds. And most of the time people don't realize that we have more places to play uh, around here. I actually wrote a post about that, the top 10 playgrounds in and around Dripping Springs because sometimes you just gotta search them out. And, yeah, I don't uh, know that I could said. think of 10. I'm like top 10, mm -hmm. oh my goodness. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I was surprised too. And a few others have come up since then. So it sounds like um, everywhere you go is, what is that? It was like an ad slogan, like kid tested, mom approved. I think it was for like gummy <laughs> vitamin or something. So I think these yeah, maybe were, that's a cereal. May, maybe text. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't remember. Um, but mm -hmm. it stands out. It, so, it sounds like yeah. everything you write about is kid tested. Do you um, have a favorite of your kiddos that you could share? Like, is there a park that they always ask to go back to or a place they'd like to visit? Um, well, we can walk to Founders Park now. So of course we love it there. And I, I've been out there recently and it's felt almost like Zilker in Austin because people are using the fields and flying kites and walking the trails. And especially now that some of the playground, um, some of the trails connect from the neighborhoods. So that's a big favorite of theirs, but also we love Windmill Run. It's not technically in dripping, but it's not too far. And that's kind of like a hidden gym that we sneak back to occasionally. Um, it recently reopened after Austin had done several shutdowns. So it's technically in Austin, but it's about a 10 minute drive or so for us from here. Can you um, elaborate a little bit? I've never heard of Windmill Run. Where is it? It's, um, and it might be a little bit more than 10 minutes, but not much. Uh, it's uh, going down, I have to actually like map it, but it's going 290 toward Austin, okay. um, a little bit past Graceland and in one of the neighborhoods there. And it's got a trail and it's got a big hill and to playgrounds. I mean, it's good for kids, old and young, honestly. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing an insider scoop. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I almost hesitate asking because it's like, oh, you want to kind of keep some of it the, a secret, right? Like, I know I, I always hear people say, well, I want to be kind of the last person to move to the hill country, like, so we can shut the doors. <laughs> That's enough. No more. No more. <laughs> I don't know if that's ever going to happen. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think we can stop it. <laughs> yeah. Um, mm -hmm. but I'm really excited um, to share this information with folks around town because, you know, it's really easy to find a, a opening brewery, distillery, winery, restaurant. You know, there's mm -hmm. a lot of adult entertainment that it's just at the tips of our fingers to find. But for kiddos, we don't have a whole lot of resources. So I love what you bring to our community. And as a mom, I'm super grateful for it. Oh, thanks so much, Ashley. Um, and speaking of the breweries, I did write something about our favorites based on kind of the kid-friendly perspective. So the focus wasn't on how good the beer is, although most of them are really good. Um, it was more on how you can keep your kids entertained so you can have a conversation longer than 10 minutes. So um, I do have a post on my website about our top picks as a family for breweries and distilleries in the area. And um, we, we do enjoy them for sure. And before we sign off, let's hear that web address one more time. It's drippingwithkidsblog.com. And I just wanted to share that this year, I'm going to have a series that I'm just starting this month called This Week's Hike. And um, we are going to highlight some of our favorite hiking places. And it is going to be um, really related to which age kids it's good for, um, why we love it. And um, I think it's going to encourage us, hopefully, to get out a bit more and explore even some more trails we haven't seen yet. Awesome. Awesome. Um, now we uh, didn't cover this before, but I know that your family is working on a really big goal this year. I think there's a little color coded sheet. Um, would you like to share your goals? Uh, we are trying to make it to 1000 hours outside this year. Um, so it's, it's a lofty goal. Yeah. And uh, one of my kids suggested that we go camp for like an entire month. Um, <laughs> I'm not buying into that one just yet, but uh, yeah, we are just coloring in a little square on our um, tracker. Whenever we get outside, uh, one square equals one hour and we're gonna make our way there. That's our goal. I love it. I love it. Thank you for sharing. And hopefully that inspires some other folks to get outside and enjoy what our community and surrounding areas has to offer. And um, before we sign off today, did you wanna share anything else? 
Um, no, just that I love your hat. Thank you. <laughs> I sure appreciate it. Thank you so much for taking uh, the time to chat today and we will see you soon. Awesome. Thanks so much, Ashley. All right. See you later. Bye. Bye.